In late October 2007, Edwin Collins played a gig at the BBC's Electric Proms. This performance was a climax to one of the most remarkable comebacks the music business has ever seen, and the realization of an ambition that helped carry him through the three most challenging years of his life. Edwin's musical career began in the early 80s when he fronted Glasgow band Orange Juice to huge critical acclaim. They were just so fresh and, and young and interesting. The complete arch and the fairness of it, as well as the great music, meant that, that guys could be utterly charming and, and uh, utterly stupid and utterly intelligent all at once. One of the best records to come out this year, that's Edwin Collins. Edwin Collins. Edwin Collins with the excellent A Girl Like You. After going solo in the mid-80s, Edwin had a worldwide breakout hit in 1994 with the single A Girl Like You. A lot of people were very, very pleased for Edwin, who admired what he'd done, you know, he, was a, he knew he was a good guy, and he, he hadn't had any great, huge, great commercial success up until then. There was a bit of punk in there, there was a bit of Northern Soul, there was a bit of the Velvet Underground, there was a bit of Motown. He'd absorbed all these different brilliant bits of pop and put them together into a kind of uh, unique whole. In early 2005, while he was working on his 10th studio album, Edwin's life changed forever. I had a stroke, you know, and uh, it's uh, six months in hospital and uh, it's, it's terrible for me, it's affecting my life. I couldn't um, w walk, and uh, it's true that, that I'm learning a lot of things, uh, like um, brushing my teeth. Uh, it's it's tragic. Do you remember before you were ill? But vaguely, it's impossible to. Um, um, <laughs> I, 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 I don't know, sorry. In February 2005, Edwin had a brain hemorrhage, quickly followed by a second. Without an operation to relieve the pressure on his brain, he would have died. When he woke up in hospital, he couldn't read, write, walk or talk. His wife Grace has been with him throughout. It's quite surreal, I suppose, thinking back in it. They told us that there was a, a big risk that you would have another bleed. Um, and it was a sort of waiting game, I suppose. That was the Sunday and the thing we'd been hoping wouldn't happen. It did happen and he had another bleed. Things looked pretty grim. We were met by a doctor who told us that they had decided to Operate? Operate on your yeah. love, yeah, and um, try to um, remove the, the bleed. So off you went, and as for your outcome, well, they weren't really making many predictions long term, but your life was still somewhat hanging. Or on the balance, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, but we had, you know, from, really from that point on, is you know, it, it was a, it was a very, very... You know, it's all like the stuff of nightmares, you know. In September 2006, when we started to follow Edwin, his dysphasia, which ruptures the pathways between thought and speech, was making it hard for him to construct full sentences. What are your goals for the next year? The goals? To understand, to communicate with people, um, the necessary goals to um, read again, to write again, to be able to play the guitar. Uh, uh, I, I, I don't know. Uh, possibly. Uh, 
um, here's my guitars. The Fender, the Gretsch, uh, the Violin, the Gibson, the uh, Epiphone. The effects of Edwin's stroke, in particular the loss of the use of his right arm, have serious consequences for his musical career and he's not sure he'll ever work again. My hands are tied at the moment. No movement at all. There, it's hard for me to concentrate on the guitar. Do you think you'll write songs again? Yes. I'm uh, I'm searching for the truth. I'm searching for the truth. Some sweet day we'll get there in the end. Some sweet day we'll get there in the end. Uh, a great uh, Edwin wrote that. <laughs> Too slow, yeah. too fast. Yes, slow so, down. Yes, slow down. Certainly, your highness. I'm magnificent. I don't know about you. <laughs> Hopeless. <laughs> okay, want to do it again? Yeah. I think I've been coping with it. Yeah. I didn't. I don't know. I think we're all right, aren't we? Yes. Yes. I mean, it's weird. It's no doubt about it. You sort of your life is. Changed upside down totally, yeah, in an instant. But Eden says it, Eden. Sometimes I feel the feel you know, you're sort of railing against the unfairness or something, you know. And Eden will say, I'm alive, and that's all that matters. I, I I'm know. glad I'm alive, mm -hmm. I'm glad I'm alive. Get on with things. Oh. <laughs> In an attempt to get as much of his speech and movement back as possible, Edwin has started out on an intensive program of therapy. He and Grace travel halfway across London three times a week for physiotherapy sessions with Ellen MacDonald. Nice big steps in walking down the race. Yeah. Edwin lost much of the movement and feeling in his right side after his two strokes. These sessions are vital if he is ever to walk easily again, and if he is ever to play the guitar. So standing up through the right leg, really pushing through the right leg, heel down, bottom in. That's it, that's it, that's it. Good. Oh, I need to sit uh, down, please. Like when I first met him, he was um, mostly in a wheelchair and had a big splint on his leg as well. So we're at the point now where we're just trying to wean off the stick and get his balance a bit better. Try to straighten your arm with me. Go and push, push me away with this arm. Go on, long arm, long arm, long arm, long arm, long arm. Go, 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 go. All the way over here. Reach, reach, reach. Oh. Oh. Okay. Sorry, Ellen. It's all right. Your arm is doing beautiful things there. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming Thank in you. a balance Ellen. reaction there. Difficulty with his arm is the sensation, really. It's always so difficult after a stroke because people have different parts of the brain affected and their recovery is also different. So we don't really like to put labels on people and tell them how far they'll go as long as they're improving, just keep encouraging them and keep making them work as hard as they can.